Paint by numbers is a popular craft, wherein a person might recreate an image by following pre-established coloring instructions, while painting within some pre-established lines. It's a lot like a coloring book. This can reduce anxiety about trying to be creative for some people. Many commercial paint by numbers images are of established artworks. You may make your own faux Picasso. Or Fonet Monet. Often these outlines are printed onto canvases or sturdy paper through traditional printing or transfer methods. But here at the La Quinta Creation Station, we have a laser cutter. Let's see how we can make our own paint by numbers patterns and then burn them onto a canvas with a laser. Hello, makers. This video is brought to you by the La Quinta Creation Station at the La Quinta Public Library. Follow us on social media. William with you today. For this project, you will need canvases, paint brushes, paint, a laser cutter or access to ours, a computer with internet access. PBNFI is an online service we'll be using to make our paint by numbers patterns easily. It can be found at pbnfi.com. It was developed by Dan Monroe, and it is free for people to use at home. There's a browser application which processes colors found in an image to try to derive a paint by numbers pattern of that image. It will also give quite a lot of information about the colors which would be used to turn the pattern back into an accurately colored piece. PBNFI does have a few fussinesses, but if you're willing to accept and work with its potential downsides, there's quite a lot of fun. Certainly, there are other ways to create your own digital versions of paint by numbers patterns. If you have access to a vector image editing program, you can often use a built-in filter or image processing add-on to trace a bitmap and to produce approximate line art rendition of the image of your choice. You could alternatively use any image editing software with layers to hand trace the contours you want to color within. With either of these two options, you'll be left on your own to approximate the colors to use and where to put the colors within the pattern. This is not necessarily a bad thing. It can be fun to try to mix approximate color matches or even to go wild and paint off pattern. Additionally, with a little bit of effort, you can place the numbers in the pattern yourself. But for our demonstration purposes in this video, we're going to stick with pbnfi.com. pbnfi can be found at pbnfi.com. It is a free service which runs completely within your browser. No images are uploaded to the internet when you insert them into the app. It has some handy instructions to follow in the middle of the screen. First, we'll select an image. You may also wish to adjust the slider in the middle of the screen, which will increase the resolution of your output image. Once our image is loaded, we can click on the image, and that will drop a little circle wherever we click. These little circles are our color selections. PBNFI asks that you choose which colors you want to bring forward into the pattern, and will try to cut out the colors you do not choose. You may choose as many colors as you wish to try to represent and selecting many colors will add to the detail of your final design. However, this will increase the number of paints you'll have to mix or buy if you wish for an accurate rendition. Once we've picked the colors we want to bring into our pattern, we'll click PBNFI and it will begin processing the image. This can take several minutes. Once it is done, you'll have a posterized version of the image you loaded, and options will appear above the image. The filled option is the fully painted PBN pattern, and you can save it for reference by clicking Save. This pops a new tab into your browser with the image present. On my computer, I have to right-click this image and select Open Image in New Window before I can actually save it. 
You'll also find options to save the Paint by Numbers version of your picture and the color palette for your Paint by Numbers pattern. Like many pieces of free software, working with PBNFI has some elements of compromise and sacrifice in order to produce working results. As you'll see, PBNFI produces its most effective and effortless results when the shading is minimal and color contrasting is strong. You should also seek out an image with minimal digital compression, as the compression artifacts may come through in your pattern. Images like photographs will naturally take more color choices for a good result, depending on how abstract you're willing to make your image. If you do decide to make many color choices, such as for a photograph, it may be wise to accept that your paint by numbers pattern is more of a general guideline and not literal instructions, so as to keep you from being driven mad by color matching or mixing. I am not quite prepared to paint a picture of my own face, as in our example, so we'll transition to the laser cutter now with a different image. I'll be rastering this image onto a canvas board. We have experimented with stretch canvases, and it works pretty well. As it is quite easy to burn through the stretch canvas, a light touch with the laser is required. A light burning may actually be a good thing, as it's easier to paint over and cover. In our editor, we'll make a 7x9 inch rectangle to help us with the layout. This canvas board is 7 by 9 inches. We'll follow the usual procession of tasks for operating our laser cutter here, and rastering an image. First, we'll import the image into Corel Draw, scale and position it for our canvas and our laser cutter, go to File, Print, configure the parameters. For canvases, I usually select Construction Paper within the Materials database and bump up the power a teensy bit. If we were rastering onto a canvas board, we'd bump the power up a little bit more some. Here I'm making sure that the canvas is exactly where the computer thinks it is, by checking for the laser alignment. Select print and start rastering the image. If the pattern comes out too light, you can raster over it again, although this doubles the time taken for what is already a somewhat lengthy process. Once your canvas is complete, you can begin to paint.